Hi and welcome to the first video in this series creating and managing taxonomies in SharePoint 2010. My name is Mike Doan and I am the principal owner of Term Management LLC. It's a company that specializes in creating and managing taxonomies in SharePoint 2010 for clients. And over the last couple of years or so I've built out literally hundreds of taxonomies in SharePoint 2010 for a lot of different purposes and a lot of different companies. And what I want to do in these next nine videos after this video is to share some of the experiences that I've had in building out taxonomies in SharePoint, some best practices that I've used over the last couple of years, uh, some taxonomic best practices that are a lot been around a lot longer than that, different resources you can use, different ways to build your taxonomy, or I'm going to give you very specific examples of how to build and use taxonomies inside of SharePoint 2010, uh, not only with regard to content types and also site columns, but also how you can improve the overall user's findability inside companies using the term store and the labels or the metadata that are, that are contained in the taxonomies. Here we see a typical term store. These are a lot of different term groups that I've built up. I've, again, built up hundreds more than this, but I wanted to show you a sample set. Uh, in this case, we can see here that we've got a general business taxonomy that's a term group. We'll get into a lot more detail in the videos about this. And you can see here that this can get very involved levels of deep in this hierarchy process with regards to parent and child relationships. I'm glad that error happened right now because one of the things I always warn uh, new people who are starting to use the term store is that uh, this is the first iteration of the term store in SharePoint and uh, oftentimes that little error is thrown and Ian just refresh and go right back to it. I'll probably repeat that at least a half a dozen times during the next nine videos of refreshing when those little errors are thrown because that's just part of, of how uh, SharePoint 2010 and taxonomies are growing together. And I think that's just part of what we have to do as users is to know that uh, that's where the product is at. Uh, we also hope the next version is going to be, of course, better, and I'm sure it will be. Uh, there's other taxonomy tools out there, but I think that overall, the term store management implementation inside of 20, SharePoint 2010 was a big step forward, especially, of course, with managing uh, metadata. It was very hard to do in SharePoint 2007, much easier to do in 2010. So I'm happy about that. But it's still not quite perfect. So it's soft time to bear with it as you go through and work through these examples. Uh, so again, we're back to the term groups, the term sets, the terms, they're all done in hierarchical fashion. Well, what does this really mean? Well, your job, oftentimes as an information manager taxonomist, is to create these lists, these hierarchical lists and sets that can then be applied via managed metadata columns, site columns inside of 2010 uh, through content types or not. But the point is that these tags can be applied to things like documents and web pages and lists and doc, doc libraries, for example, uh, to make them more findable. The end goal of all of this is that your users who are in your company are better able to find information within your organization. Oftentimes I hear clients who say, you know, their employees can't find things. They're siloed information stores. This is one way that you can use your SharePoint environment to enable people to find find things quicker and faster and actually more reliably than they have ever before just using search. Uh, so let's talk about the breakdown of the uh, entire video series. And what I want to show you is uh, these are the four major areas that the videos are going to cover. The first is about planning, uh, how to plan out your taxonomy. Uh, my advice is don't just start building, although that would be the fun thing to do, because what happens is that you need to get involved, uh, stakeholders involved in this, and you need to go through an auditing process of your content. You need to find out in, really in advance what is it that you're going to try to classify with these tags before you start building out the tags themselves. We'll go through a, a couple of videos about developing your taxonomy. We're going to talk about evaluating the information before you proceed and build it into the taxonomies. What kind of user roles are relevant? Uh, what kind of sources you would look for? I'll give you some ideas about how to go find existing information or maybe even existing taxonomies for your industry that you can use. All those things help uh, get to the next, the next phase, which is about implementing. Uh, I just showed you terms, term sets, and term groups inside the term store. It can be kind of confusing at first, and there's some real uh, traps that are you can fall into if you don't, uh, uh, you know, engage with some best practices about what not to do. I'll talk about that, and then I'll talk about integrating those taxonomies across your entire environment. Uh, there's different ways to do it. 
uh, there are ways that I've learned and mistakes I've made over the past couple of years that I want to bring up during these videos to say, you know, this is what I did wrong. I hope you don't do that. It help you get through that, uh, you know, make your taxonomies even better. And the last part really is about managing your taxonomies. Uh, I, t I say it typically takes six to 12 months to get taxonomies up and running and fine tuned to they're really hitting their stride. You can, of course, start building taxonomies almost immediately. Uh, the planning and developing phases can go by pretty quickly in a few weeks. The implementation does take a little while longer. And uh, the testing of your implementation, the testing to see if uh, people are searching for the terms that you've got in your term store, that takes a little while longer too. So really, uh, honestly, to get a, a taxonomy uh, up and running and implemented and people on board and supporting it and you start to managing it is really a, maybe a three to six months process and then another six months uh, in, in use in your, in your organization to help fine tune it to make it work just right. And what we're going to be doing uh, over the next uh, nine videos is just this, working inside of the term store. I don't spend a lot of time on slides talking about theory. I really want to just get in and show you uh, how to get your hands dirty working inside of the term store building out term groups and term sets and things like that. Uh, but the fun part, of course, is at the very end where you really start to apply those labels and terms that you've spent a long time building uh, to documents and things like that to improve findability and search. So that's the outline of this video. Uh, I hope that you uh, get a lot out of it. Uh, it certainly is a, a, an interesting area inside of SharePoint that not a lot of people yet are exploring. Uh, I'm glad that you are starting to explore it and learn more about it. And uh, I would advise you to uh, you know come back and, and check out the different videos as you go through this because there's things that I mentioned that might not make sense to you, say, in video 2, 3, or 4, that once we get to video 8, 9, and 10 are going to make a lot more sense to you. So I wish you good luck with your uh, implementation of your taxonomy term store. And uh, thank you for uh, listening and, and viewing these videos.